Whoever lives under the shelter of the Most High will remain in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He is the one who will rescue you from hunter's traps and from deadly plagues. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His truth is your shield and your armor. You do not need to fear terrors of the night, arrows that fly during the day, plagues that roam the dark, or epidemics that strike at noon. They will not come near you, even though a thousand may fall at your right, around you, and 10,000 at your right side. You only need to look with your eyes to see the punishment of wicked people. Psalms chapter 91, verses 1 to 8. CCC oh. <gasps> kids, where'd you come from? You're early. <gasps> you weren't supposed to see any of this. This is for next time you visit. I'll tell you what, cover your eyes, pretend you didn't see this, and I'll meet you in Champs College. Hi guys, thank you for joining me. This is Palm Sunday that we're celebrating one week before Jesus died and rose again. Isn't that exciting? I wanna tell you the story of the very first Palm Sunday when Jesus had a triumphant and joyful entry into Jerusalem. He was traveling with his friends that day and people were starting to gather along the road because they wanted a chance to see Jesus. He'd become famous because of his great teachings and his incredible miracles like raising Lazarus from the dead. He'd done so many good things. So Jesus sent two of his disciples into Jerusalem ahead of him to bring back a young donkey that had never been ridden before. When the disciples got to town, the owner generously gave the donkey and they brought it back to Jesus. And then people started giving their coats to cover the back of the donkey so that it would protect Jesus and it would be softer. And they were laying their coats along the sides of the road and even gathering branches from palm trees and laying those on the road. And then some people were waving branches in the air and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they were celebrating Jesus' arrival to town. But there were people like the religious leaders who didn't like all that celebration. They didn't like the rowdiness. And Jesus said to them, if these people don't celebrate me, even the rocks will cry out. You know, there's some lessons we can learn from this. One is that we can be generous like the owner of the donkey and the people who gave their coats. We can also have enthusiasm. It's okay to celebrate Jesus and show emotion because he's so great. That's a good thing. And maybe one of the most important things we can learn is that we should be telling people that Jesus has come, that he loves them, and so that they can have the good news of his peace. Oh. Because people are having a t bad time right now. There's so much bad news, but we have good news, don't we? Let's share the good news of Jesus with somebody this week. Here's some more good news. It's not too late to register for our Psalm 91 challenge. Anyone can register of any age because we need faith to trust God for his help and his protection. So we're gonna memorize the next four verses. Psalms chapter 91 verses nine to 12 in God's word translation. You, O Lord, are my refuge. You have made the most high your home. No harm will come to you. No sickness will come near your house. He will put his angels in charge of you to protect you in all your ways. They will carry you in their hands so that you never hit your foot against a rock. I'm gonna pray with you before I give you this week's assignment. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you are good, that you are powerful and you're our safe place. 
We love you, and because we do, your Holy Spirit lives inside of us. So you're our home, and we're protected from harm. We're protected from sickness. We declare that every CCC kid's house and family is provided for, everything that they need. We pray for, Lord, those who are going through COVID-19 sickness right now to be healed and to, to not die. We pray for those who've lost loved ones to be comforted by your Holy Spirit and for you to woo them and draw them to yourself. Lord, help us to be generous like the donkey's owner was, to give you everything that we have, whatever you ask of us. Lord, help us to be like the crowds who celebrated Jesus on Palm Sunday by being enthusiastic and worshiping you. Help us also, Lord, to be quick to tell everyone we meet that you're their good news, you're their healer, you're their help, and you bring peace. Father, I bless every CCC family and their home now in the name of Jesus. We declare it to your glory. Amen. All right, CCC kids, are you ready for your assignments for this week? There are five of them, but they're easy. The first one is pray for the people you know who don't know Jesus yet, so you can share the good news of his love with them. You can invite them to watch the online kids lesson, or even join you for Sunday morning to watch the streamed church service. That would be an easy way. Secondly, I want you this week to take some pictures of you and your family celebrating Easter and send them to my email, laura at championcitychurch.com, and I'm gonna add them to our gallery of friends on our webpage. Thirdly, don't forget to keep reading Psalm 91 and practicing it. You've memorized almost to the bottom of verse 12 already. Good job, CCC kids. I'm so proud of you guys. And fourthly, next time we meet, I want to have communion with you. So make sure you have some crackers or bread and some juice. I have grape juice, but you can have any flavor that you like. And we'll share communion together and remember what Jesus did for us. And the fifth thing is, I hope you were paying attention through our video this week because there were crosses all over the place in some places that might surprise you. I want you to count them and send me a text or an email telling me how many crosses you saw in our lesson today. And then I'll let you know if you got it right. I miss you all very much and I love you. Bye.